we are asked to graph the given log function as well as give the domain range and the equation of the vertical asymptote. We are given y equals log base four of x. Because we have a basic log function here, where the log function is in the form y equals log base b of x, where by definition x has to be greater than zero, we know the domain is going to be the open interval from zero to infinity using interval notation. The range is going to be all real numbers or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity and the vertical asymptote is going to be x equals zero. Again, all this will be true for the given function because it fits the form of the basic log function shown here. And therefore, we will not list the information again. And now to graph the function, we'll write the equivalent exponential equation and use the exponential equation to complete the table of values. So because we have the log isolated, we can write the equivalent exponential equation using the definition shown here below where the equivalent exponential equation to y equals log base four of x is four raised to the power of y equals x. So we'll use the equation four raised to the power of y equals x to complete the table of values. However, instead of selecting x and determining y, because y is in the position of the exponent, we will select y and determine x. I do want to make a note, in the online homework, you only have to find the horizontal intercept and one other point, but for this explanation, we will complete the entire table of values. Let's begin by determining the horizontal intercept, where any point on the horizontal axis or x-axis has a y value of zero, we'll begin by letting y equal zero. So when y is equal to zero, x is equal to four raised to the power of zero, and four raised to the power of zero is equal to one. So notice how this gives us the ordered pair one comma zero, which is the horizontal intercept. And now let's let y equal one. When y is one, x is equal to four raised to the first power, giving us x equals four. Let's try y equals two. When y is two, x is equal to four squared, and four squared is equal to 16. So while this does give us a point on the graph, notice how 16 comma two is not on the given coordinate plane. So it's not gonna help us make a graph. So let's go back and select a y value, let's say between zero and one, as well as between one and two. Let's try a y value of one half and a y value of 1.5 or three halves. So when y is equal to one half, we have x equals four raised to the power of one half, which in this case comes out very nice. Remember four to the one half power is equal to the square root of four which is equal to two. But I do wanna make a note that sometimes these values won't come out so nice. You may have to use a calculator and get a decimal approximation. And even though you won't have an exact value for x, the ordered pair will still help make an accurate graph. And now when y is equal to three halves, we have x equals four raised to the power of three halves. So this is a nice review. Let's write this in radical form where the denominator is the index and the numerator is the exponent. So x, is equal to the square root of four cubed. And we know the square root of four is equal to two, this gives us two cubed, and therefore x is equal to eight. So again, a lot of times these values won't come out nice. We'll have to evaluate them on the calculator and get a rounded value for x. In this case, it comes out nice. So now we can make a nice graph of the function using these ordered pairs and the vertical asymptote, which we know is x equals zero. Let's first sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals zero, which is the y-axis. And again, in the online homework, you select the log function graphing tool, click on the horizontal intercept, this point here, and then one other point, for example, four comma one. But let's go ahead and plot as many of these points as we can. So one comma zero is here, four comma one is here, 16 comma two is off the screen, two comma one half is here, and eight comma three halves, or eight comma 1.5 is here. So we know the graph passes through these four points and approaches the vertical asymptote, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.